up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel it's friday we're going to be pulling ancients uh, it's two times and there's 180 we're not going to pull them all we are going to pull till we hit gold um and i'm thinking about not pulling in two times ancients anymore so two times is great for building up your account and building up roster and getting loads of legendary champions but i've hit a turning point now where i need specific champions for my account so I'm probably not going to pull for like six months and that will get me around 600 uh, ancients as end game free to play. And there's a champion that I'm after and I'm sure you all know who she is. It's the best champion probably not in the game, but one like she's got to be top 10 easily. It's Duchess. Um, she is just so good for arena. So basically I'm probably going to hold off for six months until um, like a 10 times comes around for her. And then I'm all in and I'm going to try and get that Duchess. I mean, like I said, she would just do so much for my account. And I know you, I'm sure you guys all know what she can do, but it's just like just her um, A3 is just so strong. Being able to revive all those allies and put the perfect veil on them is just insane. I mean, she is just such a good champion. So, yeah, definitely need her for my account to help me to progress in arena. Um, yeah, so... Um, also, I'm doing an account takeover competition. If you want to get involved, all you need to do is like, subscribe, and drop a comment uh, on this video, and that'll enter you the competition, and then I'll pick a winner in about a week's time, and I'll get in contact with you and let you know that you've won. Um, so let's see. We've got 180 shards. Also, um, the Fusion's on at the moment as well for a champion chase tournament. So um, we need at least 360, 50 points to get one fragment. Um, I did cheat a little bit. So um, what you need to do is hold on to these uh, fragments. And I pulled them today. So that gave me um, 500 points from just putting two of these champions. So that's definitely a good way to help you, you know, so you don't have to pull as many shards. And you can sort of hold on, hold on to your ancients. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start pulling. And yeah, hopefully we get some decent. I mean, there's loads of champions that I would love on my account. Like Harima being one of them. She is just an absolute beast um, for Arena. Um, Fat Man, he is a great champion. Like Clan Boss, um, Fire Knight. Um, even, even Arena, you can use him like in a Blender comp. But yeah, he's a solid, solid champion. Absolutely love him. Oh, that has just made the fusion a hell of a lot easier for me. That is a huge pull right there. Um, I'm going to have to skip loads of events now. <laughs> that is just great. I don't feel that I need an extra one, like an extra copy of her. I've got loads of bomb champions on my account already. Whoa, that was four, four, four epics in a row, five in total. Some really nice champions here. Rockbreaker, Virgis, and uh, I had to caught cryodan the blue um, this is champion actually i really wanted he is an absolute beast for fire knight hard mode um so definitely a champion worth investing in triple hitter throws out that freeze that we need to push back and um, the fire knights um turn meter for hard mode so yeah that is definitely a, an epic that i've been after for a while so very nice very pleased with that who else no one there that no one of real interest right there. But yeah, who you guys after, please let me know in the comments below. Um, loads of like legendary champions out there that I'm after, like even like Candrophon as well, be another great one, or Prince Kaimar. Prince Kaimar will probably be like my second champion that I'm after. Geomancer, great champion. If you get him, you need to six times straight away. I don't feel he's like that strong on his own. He definitely needs certain support champions around him, but once you get it to work, he is just god tier and he will do a lot for your account. Vrask, a great, great champion. Um, can be using like Doom Tower comps for certain bosses to help like loads of healing and stuff. I actually use him in my Bommel team comp um, and that's like on the hardest stage as well. So yeah, he's like, I'd say he's just like one of those champions. He doesn't look that great on paper, but he is an absolute beast and he can carry you. One of the best healers in the game. Okay, red tax. Yeah, nothing but blue. 
But yeah, so far I'm actually pleased. Like I pulled some decent epics today, and actually an epic that I needed. Um, yeah, just amazing. Like it's so funny. Like I, I'm at a point now where not many epics can do much right count. Um, I've pretty much got all of them apart from a few. Uh, Fanax is a great one. Um, like he is low key, uh, like broken for arena. Um, you need like some strong support champions to keep him alive because he's quite squishy. But you just use that A1 and he will just kill champions and they could not be revived. Really, really nice ability. Come on, we need some gold. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just have a look and see where we're at. Okay, so I need to make some space, guys. Be back in a mo. And we're back, guys. Okay, so we've got 60 more shards to go. Come on, we want a legendary. Let's see what happens. Okay, a cult brawler, pretty decent for clan boss. Um, outside of that, not particularly great. Um, does do poisons though, so could you be used for a dragon? But yeah, otherwise, not particularly great. Again, another Vrask. Okay, we're down to our last 40. Legendary. Okay, it's new. It's Lona Thoral. Lon... 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 Nethril. Lon Arthril? They need to check. These champions' names are just getting harder and harder to pronounce. So yeah, this guy, I think he's a fusion. I actually skipped him. Um, but I think he's pretty solid. So increases um, crit rate buff on one for two turns. So he's an ally attack champion. Okay, that's pretty nice. Inflicts more damage champions under shield buff. Okay. Attacks all enemies, places shield buff on all allies for three turns. Um, if an if there are any dead allies, places a shield buff on all allies for three turns. So it's a it's protected buff, but only if your allies are dead. It's like, it's kind of interesting, but doesn't seem like that strong to me, to be honest. And then A1, okay, it doesn't, doesn't seem like, like, you know, like game changing champion. I just want to check out his ratings and we've got 30 shards left over. So that's it. I'm not pulling any more shards. Um, and I just realized as well how huge it is that I've managed to pull um, one of these uh, fur guns. So if you think about it. I can skip dungeon divers now and that dungeon divers they made it really hard you know they're like four was it like 4800 points and stuff so i can skip that now so that's gonna make it hell of a lot easier for me we're also first place on a champion chase so let's just check out so we managed to get all the books we need as well so got all the books okay i don't think i'm gonna finish first there's definitely gonna be some whales and krakens that snipe me later on but it would be nice to get that mythical gear but it's not going to happen. No way. 100% it will not. Um, but yeah, let's just have a look at this guy again. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. He's a Sacred Order. No. <laughs> Definitely a Banner Lord then. All right, so he's not a Banner Lord. And he's not Sacred Order. He's got to be high elf. Yeah, obviously the long ears give it away. Okay, so he is a high elf. Um, let's see what people are saying about him. Yeah, he's not particularly strong. It looks like most people are just really using him for faction wars. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll be using him to be honest. But um, yeah, but super stoked about Fergun and who was that other champion that we pulled? Um, I think he's undead. Nope. The blue, the blue. Is he Cillian's watch? Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, he is. Okay, so he's he's uh, he's one of the watchers. But yeah, like this guy as well. I'm, I'm still trying to build a team for Finite Hard. So yeah, this guy should definitely help out. Um, but anyway, let's check out this week's winner for the account takeover. And this week's winner is Booyah. So um, this is Boo's account and um, she's still like it's quite a fresh account. She's quite a casual player, uh, but she's got Ultimate Death Knight. She's got Ronda as well, who are two very strong champions. Um, but she's asked for help in Clan Boss. 
So at the moment she's doing four keys into hard. Um, so the team that we're going to be building out is Ultima Death Knight, Artak, um, Melga, and Deacon, and then Kale. So there's still quite a lot of work to do. Um, so the main focus will be to um, get Kale to six star. Um, and then what we want to do is do masteries for every champion. And this is a champ something that every account goes through and it is painful. Um, I'm sure we all remember, basically, you just spend one week just farming Minotaur. And that's all you do until every single champion has their masteries. And then once we've done that, and what will be good about this team as well, is that it's definitely going to be able to help us on Clan Boss. And we should be able to push into Brutal. But this team will also double up for Dragon. So at the moment on Dragon, we are only doing stage, I think it's 17. But I think this team comp should be strong enough to be able to push into stage 20. And then we're going to fail, basically just farm stage 20, get all the gear that we need, uh, get that lifesteal, get that speed, and that will help us progress even further in clan boss. And then it's just a case of, you know, just doing clan boss and then pulling shards for every two times. And that will build up our roster. And as we get stronger, then we can start to progress even further in clan boss and then start to focus other dungeons. But that's the way you sort of want to build up your account. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.